Today we're going to be doing a review on the Greenworks 12 inch electric chainsaw and it is a 40 volt. We've had this now, how long have we had this saw? We've had it for at least three or four months, right? And we've used it quite a bit, wouldn't you say? Yeah. And it's, it, I'd say it's performed very, very well the entire time. And we're going to go ahead and show you how this thing operates while we're out here. But um, first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the battery off and we're going to change the chain. Because the chain, we have pretty well smoked this one. And we need to go ahead and replace it because they work well and they last a long time and we have beat the crap out of this one. So go ahead and take that chain off here for me, Kenny. Go ahead and pull that off there so everybody can see that we're actually putting a, there you go, putting a brand new chain on. Now, let's set that down really quick. Go ahead and pull the new chain out. These are actually cheap chains that I bought in a three pack on Amazon. You can also get the saw on Amazon. I'll put a link for everything in the description below in case you would like to purchase it. I do highly recommend this saw to be honest with you. And as you can see, just took that out of the package. It's brand new. For a little electric chainsaw, I will tell you right now that I have been thoroughly impressed with the operation of it. And it will hold up to about any other saw, in my opinion, because I run an 18 inch Husqvarna. And this chain is kind of a pain in the butt. Actually, chains in general are a pain in the butt. I typically run the, the 18 inch Husqvarna, and I got this for the kids and the wife. Go well, that way, they have something a little bit lighter to use, but it is relatively easy to change. Go ahead and stick that back on there. It has a, a different tensioning mechanism on the side right here. It's all done. I don't want to call it self tensioning because that's not the case, but go ahead and pull that out so that way we get that super tight. It does help if you have an extra person to go ahead and tension this down, although it is not needed. But when you want an extra tight chain, it does help. Let's go ahead and ratchet that back down. All right, we've got a brand new chain on there now. Everything's ready to go. Like I said, this is a 12 inch. We are gonna demonstrate now what and how much it can cut through. And when you buy this, it comes with a two amp hour battery. And we have currently on there, you can see that it says seven amp hour, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got an upgraded battery. And I will tell you that these batteries, they last at least as long, if not twice as long as a can of gas would on a, or a, a tank of gas would on a, a normal gasoline chainsaw. So, Kenny, do you want to go ahead and show them with a brand new chain? What that'll cut through right there. I'll come over to this other side over here, and I'm going to show them the size of log that we're cutting through. Okay, what we've got right here, it's just on, it's like five and a half inches. So go ahead and rip off a chunk of that and show them what it's like. there that definitely went through super super quick and i like it because these chains are actually they cut really 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 chunky they don't exactly go any slower than a normal saw would go or anything like that I, like i said i'm very impressed with that but just to go ahead and show you the size and what it can do let's go ahead and do a bigger one give me that and i'll i'll, I'll handle this one right here but and i'll show them how big this one is here. This is going to take a little bit longer. This is about 10 inches wide right here. And you can see it's about, you know, 10 and a half that way. You can see it right there. Now, one thing when you're cutting, <coughs> when you're cutting bigger stuff with this particular saw, one thing I don't like about it, and this is seriously the one thing that I don't like about it, is the fact that it does not have a saw dog on there. So you can't bite in. It got a little ripple right here in the front that is supposed to act like it. But if you manufactured your own or could find an aftermarket one, which I have not yet, and get a dog to put on there so you can actually bite into the wood when you're cutting, it would be a lot better. But just to show you, this thing does work really, really well. running into that 
thing over there creeping. Obviously, this thing is not super, super fast by some gas saws that would have, you know, a lot more speed or whatever, because this does not go near as fast as a, as a gas two-stroke. But you can see that it'll obviously do it. It's not struggling to get through by any means. And the one complaint that I have, like I said, is it doesn't have that dog on there where you can actually bite into the log and get a good, good bite into it and go ahead and cut through. But this saw is certainly capable of doing anything. I mean, even right here, you can go ahead and... Just like that. I mean, it, it cuts through anything. It lasts super, super long time. And these chains, I will show you the packaging on them, but they last. I'm telling you, we've changed out... The one that you just saw, that was, the first chain. that was the first chain that we got out of this pack right here, again, on Amazon. We got that in a three pack. We just took one off and changed it, put a brand new one on, and you can see that we've got obviously one chain left in here. But these things last, I'm telling you, by comparison to a, a chain that you would have on a gas saw, I don't know why it's so much different, but in three months we have changed one chain and these things just go for forever and uh, while this is a complete off brand i would highly recommend these and the price is excellent as well but all in all this saw has definitely been a uh, a blessing for sure out here and like i said we had gotten an upgraded battery we have two of these seven amp hour batteries we did have one go bad on us for some reason but, you know, I, I don't know what was up with that. We are getting it replaced. But either way, Greenworks, as you can see here, you can see the name on the side of the saw, Greenworks. This saw ended up costing us about $130 shipped off of Amazon, and I will put a link in for that as well. But highly recommended. Definitely worth having around. Good for in a pinch or good for daily use, to be completely honest with you. And I'm looking at, honestly, getting the 18-inch version so if you're interested, thanks for watching and hopefully this uh, review was helping someone out and in the event that they wanted to purchase this saw and didn't have any information on it, you can see it'll obviously cut through the bigger wood. This is a 12 inch one as well and we cut through a 10 inch log right there with no problem and it will handle, handle anything else. It is a little bit lighter, I can't tell you the exact weight, but it's a little bit lighter than a, my 18 inch saw. but. I, I like it. I enjoy it. Either way, thanks for watching and have fun.